Do you need help creating a shipping label? Here's an example. First, visit ups.com. If you have an account, log in directly. If not, don't worry. You can still create a label as a guest in five easy steps. So, let's get started. Step 1. First, click ship. Here, you can start creating the shipping label. Let's start by filling in shipping details. First, select the country where you're shipping from. Then fill in your full name or company name and address. If you're shipping from home, remember to check this box. Then, enter your email and phone number correctly. Here's a tip. To get status updates of the shipment on your email, tick this below. Update the return address, if relevant, and then click Continue. Step 2. This step focuses on where the shipment is going. This means, you'll need to pick the country that you are shipping to, which is, your final shipping destination. In this case, let's pick Germany. Then fill in the company name and the full name of the person receiving the parcel. Then add the full destination address, email and phone number of the receiver. Remember, this is a crucial step. It's important that you provide accurate and complete details of your receiver. This will give them full visibility of their parcel and a smooth delivery experience. Don't forget to check this box if it is a residential address. Once you're done, click continue. Step 3. Now, this is all about your packaging. Let's consider, we are sending men's tennis shoes in a box. First, select the correct packaging type. For packaging tips and guidance, visit ups.com. Next, it's important to add the correct dimensions of your box, such as weight and size, as this will affect the price. Let's assume that the product we are sending is worth £200. So, if you want to purchase protection, fill in your package value in this field. You can even add a reference number of your choice. We don't need a second reference number in this case, and we are not sending ion or batteries either, so this will not need to be marked. Once you're ready, click Continue. Step 4. Now, it's time to update how and when you'd like to ship. You can either drop off your parcel at a nearby UPS access point, or include this shipment within another pickup you have already booked. If not, you can just select a new pickup date for this specific shipment. In this example, we will schedule a pickup for the 14th of February. It's now time to fill the correct name, address and contact information for your pickup location. Ensure to update these correctly, to avoid missed collections and delays. You can choose whether you'd like the parcel to be sent straight to the receiver's address, or if you'd like your parcel to be held at a UPS access point location, for collection at the destination. Now, this is where you choose how fast you want your parcel to get there. Pick an option suited to you. In this case, let's select UPS Express Saver, and then, click, Continue. Step 5. We're nearly there. This step is the most critical piece of the process, as it prepares the correct export documentation for your customs clearance. Let's begin by describing the purpose of this shipment. Select an option that best suits your reason to ship. In this example, let's choose. I'm selling these items. Next, you need to fill in the correct description of the product you are shipping. Here's a tip. Before you get started with this step, remember to scroll down and take a look at the international forms and export documentation available for your shipment. Choose all that apply and select the option, Complete Online, so that the website can help you automatically generate these export forms. For example, the most important export document, which is the commercial invoice, and if applicable, a packing list. Once you've done this, let's click Get Started to provide the data required for customs approval. Here it's important to add clear description of your product by being as specific as possible to avoid customs delays. Then add the unit of measure the correct value of your product, 
the country of origin and the number of units you are shipping. Keep in mind that if you're sending a product overseas, your shipment may be liable for import VAT and customs duty. Therefore, it is always important to provide a harmonized tariff code for each type of commodity that you ship, which will show in your commercial invoice. Providing the correct HS codes will help assess the accurate calculation of import fees. You can find the tariff code for your shipment on the UPS Tradeability tool on ups.com or on the gov.uk website. Once this is completed, click Next. Review your details, and select I'm done. Before we continue, here's what you should know. Since the 1st of January 2021, parcels to Europe from UK mainland and Scotland are subject to customs and duty fees. So, all goods shipped to the EU and beyond, must include a commercial invoice along with other export documentation. For every international shipment, a commercial invoice is required regardless of your reason to ship, even if it is a non-commercial transaction, such as sending a gift. Also, the guidelines for shipping from Northern Ireland differ. You can find more information on the gov.uk website. Make sure you review your details, edit any information if necessary, and click Complete Now on the relevant export documents to generate them online. You can choose more features for your delivery such as signature required. Remember, an adult signature will be required if you're shipping dangerous goods. Then click continue. Step 6. This is your payment step. Fill up all your payment details. You will then see below only an estimated value of your duty taxes and fees. These are subject to change, as final costs are determined by customs authorities at the time of import. One final step is to update your IOSS number, since you are shipping to the EU. In this example, since the total value of the goods shipped is above €150 Euros and you are shipping to a private consumer, you won't need to add an IOSS number. But if the value of the item was below €150, Euros, then you would need to add it here. This way the shipment will be released, as if VAT is paid and you will be able to settle it via the IOSS platform. You can register for an IOSS number on the customs website of each EU member state. Once this is complete, get ready to pay. You can pay using PayPal, credit card and if you already have a UPS account, you can save your payment details for future exports. You will then be able to review your shipping label and make any last-minute edits. Once reviewed, Complete payment. You'll then receive confirmation, and your label will be ready to print. Along with your export shipping label, the website will also generate the export documents you chose to create online. Please print three copies of your commercial invoice, place them safely in a clear pouch, and attach them to the outside of your parcel before you ship. Always keep an extra copy of your commercial invoice for your own records. Don't forget to also print and attach any other export documents that you may have created, along with your commercial invoice. Always keep copies for your own records. Or you can simply open an account and enroll to UPS Paperless Invoicing, available on ups.com. Now, you don't need to worry about printing or misplacing your commercial invoices. Say hello to a more seamless, hassle-free and eco-friendly customs process. Before you ship, please remember, if you are shipping through a third-party shipping provider such as mailboxes etc., reseller, freight forwarder or access point, then, the shipper is the true exporter of the goods and not the third-party provider. Customs regulation requires you to declare the true exporter of the goods for the shipment. If this cannot be declared, then your parcel will be held at exports. Please update the correct EORI number when relevant. Also, if the delivery address or recipient of parcel is not paying duties and taxes, then you will need to provide details of who is paying these charges, which is the IOR, importer of record. If this is not clearly mentioned, 
Your parcel will pass through customs but, the duties and taxes will be billed to the receiver, instead of the importer. If you are shipping documents, please check the local country regulations of the country you are shipping to, as some destinations might not consider it as a document or have weight or quantity restrictions. For example, tickets are considered non-docs in some destinations, and in Switzerland, documents greater than 0.5 kilograms is a non-doc shipment. For more import and export information, visit ups.com or the gov.uk website. You're all set to start exporting like a pro. Happy shipping!